everybody and welcome back to your girl's channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys step by step how to read and study your Bible. Okay, so regardless if you are new to the faith or if you've been a Christian your whole life, I hope you can find this video helpful. So starting off, get you a paper Bible. Get you a paper Bible. Do not do not be a Bible app person because it is just too easy to get distracted when you're on your phone. You know, real world example. You can be on your Bible app, reading your Bible. You finna press deep. You finna really unlock that revelation that God has for you. The next thing you know, ding, you got you a notification. Now you're tempted to go over to your email app and... Next thing you know, you start scrolling on your email, then you move over to Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, and the next thing you know, your whole Bible study is just thrown off, okay? It happens that quick. So, get you a paper Bible, that way you can put your phone on the other side of the room and you can really focus on what you need to focus on in that moment. My next piece of advice, get you a notepad to write down any notes, prayers, revelations, anything get your notepad okay write down your notes on the verses that stick out to you okay if you do not want to have a bulky notepad get you some sticky notes jot down what sticks out to you prayers whatever is going on in your life in that moment jot it down on that sticky note and just stick it in your bible that way you'll always have it with you all right the next thing you'll need is a highlighter. You'll need you a highlighter to highlight the verses that sticks out to you, okay? And that really applies to your life and the situations that you're going through. The next thing I would advise, get you some pens. Pens. Different colored pens. That way you can mark up your Bible, you can write in the margins of your Bible, you can underline things, circle things, really make it fun and make your Bible reflect your personality, okay? You can really personalize your Bible when you have different colored pens and plus for me, if I have some good pens, that's motivation to me to write, to underline, to study, to do all that good stuff. That's how I've always been for anything, not just Bible study, like schoolwork, anything. If I got some good pens, that's motivation, okay? I don't know about y'all, but that's motivation for me, okay? <laughs> so get you some good pens, y'all. So going over what we've gone over so far, get you a paper Bible, get you a notepad or some sticky notes, highlighter, and pens okay now the next piece of advice you can have the bible app i'm not against it because in the bible app you have other resources okay so you have different translations and you can um, compare and contrast different translations to what's in your bible so the bible app really do come in handy if you feel like you can stay focused okay and when you get your paper bible please get a translation that you understand i would not advise starting off with king james if you are a brand new christian in the year 2022 get you a simple Bible that you can understand. My Bible, first of all, is pink. It's my favorite color. So that right there reflects my personality. And I got the New Living Translation. Y'all can see if it will focus. Yes, this is the kind of Bible that I have. And I love it because it's very clear, plain, to the point, and I can really understand it. And I'm not trying to decipher what the scriptures mean okay so that's that now the next hurdle to jump over once you get your essentials for studying is where the heck do you start in this huge book I feel like that's the first question a lot of people have and that's one reason why a lot of people might be intimidated from studying their paper Bible, okay? Where the heck do you start? 
Very simple. Start with the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Start in the book of Matthew. The four Gospels basically show the life of Jesus from his birth, through his ministry, to his death and resurrection. It's all about Jesus and what he did while he was on this earth. So start there because that Jesus is who our faith is built on. Okay, without Jesus, it wouldn't be anything to believe in. So start with the Gospels. Okay, learn what Jesus did for you. Learn the principles that he shared with us. Learn how he wants you to live. Okay, start with the Gospels. And then once you've read through the Gospels, then go to the book of Proverbs because Proverbs is all about wisdom. And I am a firm believer that we all could use wisdom in our lives. So please read the Gospels, then read the book of Proverbs. And then after Proverbs, read the book of Psalms because the book of Psalms are um, songs and prayers and reflections written by King David, who was the greatest king in all of Israel's history. So, oh, recapping. Do the Gospels, Proverbs, uh, yeah, Proverbs, and then Psalms. And then from there, I would go to the book of Genesis and read the backstory about the children of Israel. Read about the creation. Read about the flood. These are the stories that we hear about in our Sunday school classes and things of that nature. And then from Genesis, begin to read in the book of Romans and read the letters of Paul. And so from there, you can just jump from New Testament to Old Testament, okay? It's 66 books, so you can maneuver through as you wish. But just to give you a solid foundation of where to start, start with the Gospels, then Proverbs, then Psalms, then Genesis, then Romans, and then flip-flop. I feel like, in my opinion, that's a solid foundation to start on, okay? So, start off your Bible studies with prayer. Invite God into the moment and in the, into the time that you're about to spend in his word, especially if you're a new Christian, because all of this is new to you. So ask God to open up your eyes and your ears and your heart so that you can understand what you're reading and so that his word can come alive to you. That's so vital. And it's vital to not just read, but to stop. And think about what you're reading. Ask yourself how this applies to your life. And if you really want to dig deep, do some research. You know, do some research about where this stuff is taking place. What was going on in the world during this time? Things of that nature. And get a Bible that's, that's, that's good with, you know, background information as well. And... The Bible is like food. You have to chew on it, savor it, enjoy it, and then, you know, think about it. Think about what it is you're reading, okay? You don't have to read a whole book in one sitting. You do not have to read a whole chapter in one sitting. If you want, just read two or three scriptures starting out and stop and think about that, you know, especially when it comes to like the book of Proverbs and Psalms. Yeah, those are books you definitely can take one verse at a time if need be. OK, so don't rush through your Bible study. Make sure you have 
privacy and you're studying in a quiet place that way you can concentrate and you're not again easily distracted and if you're doing that then you'll be able to retain everything so much easier and so much better okay <coughs> so that's really all I have for y'all I really hope that my tips help you guys if you have any tips on what you do to study the bible please leave them in the comment section below i would love to hear what it is you do in your private time with the lord please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye